Within the seas of the Mediterranean, there lived, there was a kingdom. It was not a large kingdom. It was not a rich kingdom. It was merely more of an island where the people herded and hunted and fished. And since they were not rich, the dowries were not large. And unfortunately, the king had three daughters. The first daughter was fine. Whoever she married would be the next king. Dowry not even needed. They had some set aside, so the second daughter was able to grab a merchant whose ship went by. So she was set, but by the time they got to the third daughter's hand, there wasn't anything left but her herself. And you've heard stories of golden hair and eyes of the sky, and that wasn't it. Nor was she warts and troll. She was simply plain. So there was not a long line of suitors for her. So to the gates one day, Hans, a local fisherman, came strolling up to the gates and says, I, I will take her for my wife. Of course, behind him was a small orphan boy Young, brash, thin enough he didn't really even notice he was there. And he was like, I'll be here too. And the king was like, what's your name? And he said, you can call me Al. <laughs> so she had a choice. A smelly old man. Oh, a boy who hasn't even dropped yet that's an orphan. <laughs> the boy looked and said, Do you really want to go home to this every night? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even comb his hair. <laughs> and boy, ugh, that smell. A hygiene conscious animal? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, on the other hand, live from the land. I have a bow, I have my arrow. Married to me, you will have pheasant, boar, deer, just as soon as some come onto the island. <laughs> but, you know, what they really had was, you know, just little quails running around all over the place. But there were a lot of them, and he was a good name. The fisherman I was like, I don't know what I could give on top of that. But give me one week to see what I can come up with. The king's like, well, if he doesn't work out, there's another one. Even if it means waiting a little while. <laughs> so the fisherman went home, looked around for what he had. He didn't have swords, he didn't have bows. So he looked and he found the needle he used to make his nets and the thread that knotted it together. And he thought and he designed and he spent most of the week sewing a new kind of net. One that went deep. One that was domed. One that had coral on the bottom to catch what was down there. And he spent two days dragging to the bottom until he came back and showed the princess a string of pearls he had drug from the bottom. He says, this, this I can give you. He used to say she smelled fish the rest of her life. <laughs> because what woman cannot resist a street? <laughs> By the way, if you didn't figure it out, Hans the fisherman, protagonist, Al the orphan boy, antagonist, 
Protagonist weapon, needle and thread. <laughs> so fitting for a gun. Uh, antagonist weapon, bow and arrow. And the scenario winning the hand. <laughs>